In a now deleted YouTube video, Barry Bluestone, an economics professor, was heard saying this. He said, sometimes I want to just impeach, uh, want to see him impeached. Other times, quite honestly, I, and I hope there are no FBI agents here, I wouldn't mind seeing him dead. He said that in front of a room full of students. Here to react is Northeastern University senior and campusreform.org correspondent, Aubrey uh, Kenderdine. Aubrey, thanks for being here this morning. Uh, so when you heard about this statement, what was your reaction and did it uh, surprise you? So let's just acknowledge this for what it is. Here we see a respected professor advocate for violence against our president in a public forum while he's representing my university. This is outrageous. And I was very disappointed when I heard this, but honestly, I wasn't surprised at all because I see this rhetoric on a daily basis with my other professors. This is just an escalation of that. I've had professors call Trump a racist, a white supremacist. I even had a professor this semester say that the land of the free and the home of the brave is a microaggression. So I'm really not surprised at all that this happened. You just didn't catch the, you just didn't get those on tape. This one was, and they had to delete it. Now, the yeah. professor, we asked the professor about it, and he did apologize, telling Fox News this. Take a, take a look at uh, what he said. He said, I meant to say I would have liked to see the president disappear from the White House. This president has created such deep divisions in our country. We also have a statement from the university, which I'd like to, to play for you as well. They say, Professor Bluestone's comments do not reflect reflect the views of Northeastern University. While faculty members are free to express controversial opinions, the university cannot provide a public platform for comments that could be construed to condone violence. So they say they do not reflect the views of Northeastern University, yet setting aside the death threat, you're saying this is these are exactly the views of the majority of professors at that university. Yeah, Northeastern is really big on having diversity and inclusion, but their definition of diversity and inclusion does not include conservative views. And that has been very clear to me in my four years at Northeastern. And it's really unfortunate the the consensus of hostility towards President Trump that I see in my classes. But honestly, this, this is not just at Northeastern. Mm -hmm. CampusReform.org reports on this all the time that on all college campuses, there's this liberal bias that professors are using their authority and their power to advocate for their liberal sure. point of view and really just not allowing any other views to take place in the classroom. I often feel like I can't speak up because I'm afraid that it's going to hurt my grades. Well, we had Charlie Kirk on of Turning Point USA said the exact same thing. A lot of conservatives feel like they have to change their view if they want to get the right grade. You're more attuned to the political bias of professors, but your average student going to Northeastern or a campus today, are they just going to bend to what the liberal orthodoxy is for fear? Uh, or Are they indoctrinated slowly? Do they change from freshmen to seniors? Is that what you've seen? Yeah, it's really unfortunate that a, a lot of people are just like they start out with conservative principles and they're kind of just drug into it. Like it's just every professor, you can see that they have such liberal bias and it's really unfortunate. Most of most of the classrooms that I'm in, it's one against 40, including my professor. So not only do I have to have the confidence to speak up in class and to participate, but I also have to have good, articulate points that I can argue for these principles because a lot of students aren't exposed to that while they're in college. Good practice for the real world. Aubrey Kendrine, uh, thank you very much for joining us. Really appreciate it. I would also note, we thank don't know if this professor, me. of course, is getting disciplinary action or not. He's also an economics professor. No, no information as to whether or not he touted the economy this president has helped bring.